Today's sponsor is Flexel. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. If you've clicked on this video, then you've probably been searching the depths of the internet for a great but free alternative to the popular note-taking and PDF annotation apps out there. Most apps do come with a cost, however, a lot of them do end up being worth that cost. I do understand the hesitation when it comes to buying something or using something that you might not like. So in today's video, I will be talking about a free note-taking and PDF annotation app that you should definitely download and try if you're interested in digital note-taking or digital planning. Now, this app is only available on iOS, so Android users, you'll have to bear with me. I have something coming for you. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe, but let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so Flexel has two different apps on the App Store. They have Flexel 2 and then they have the original Flexel and I'll be going over features of both of them. There are certain features within Flexel that you may have to pay for and Flexel is currently running a 30-day free trial on Flexel 2. So if you're interested in trying out this app, I definitely recommend downloading it and trying it out. You may not need the features that are in the paid version. So to dive in, I'm going to start with Flexel 2. So whenever you open the app, this is what the app looks like. In my opinion, it's kind of a cross between good notes and notability as far as how it looks. And this is because you have the thumbnails of your notes or your planners. And then you have this sidebar, which I actually really like the interface of Flexel here. So Flexel comes with sample notes and sample books that you can try out some of the features with, which I think are really helpful. I also imported my 2021 landscape planner in to test a few of the features within Flexel if you're a digital planner. So on this side, we have documents, trash, and files. I really like how they incorporated the file section of the iPad. And then down here, they have a favorites category and a recents, so you can see your recently opened notes or planners, and if you favorite them, they'll obviously be in the favorites category. So this is that Flexel standard that I was talking about, so I'm currently on the 30-day free trial. This is where you get to experience all of the features within Flexel. However, there are some features that are native in the free version that you might like. And then down here, we have our settings section. This is where you can kind of go to like the support page of Flexel. For general, this is kind of like clearing the catch. Here is the document viewer, and there's another way that you can change the document setup that I'll get into later. But here is where you can kind of change how you want to view your notes or planner. And then connections, which I really like, is where you can add different cloud storages. So if you use Google Drive or OneDrive or Box, it's here. Then you can do a backup. So you can actually go in and manually back up or restore data, which I really like. And a feedback section if you want to send Flexel some feedback. All right. Here is the select tool, which again is pretty similar to other note-taking apps. This is where you can select all or none of your notes. This button right here will merge all the ones that you have selected, which I think is a great, great feature. If you have a lot of notes, let's say you take notes for chapter one and then you have a whole new notebook section for chapter two. At the end, if you want to merge all of those notes together, Flexel makes it really easy to do so. This button right here will copy the selected notes or notebook and then this folder right here will let you move it between different folders. So I don't have any folders currently created, but I'll show you how to do that. So if you have a folder created or whatever, you can add it to that. This allows you to export and send wherever you need to on your iPad. And the trash icon will obviously delete those notes. Then down here we have this plus icon and I think you can assume what this icon will do here. So you can create a new folder, you can do a quick note, which I really like, you can do a whole new notebook setup, or you can access your files or your cloud connections. What I really, really like about Flexel that's different from other note-taking apps is that you can actually customize the color of your folder. So I obviously really like this purple color here. So we'll do test, done. And then if I wanted to select this, and then move it to my test folder, I can do that. All right, so let's go into one of these notebooks here and test out what, what Flexel can do. All right, so I'm gonna click on this one 
and I've been testing out a few of the features already as you can see here. What I immediately like about Flexel though is up here in the left hand corner there's kind of like a little notes icon with an arrow. If you select that it actually has side-by-side -side notes. So this will be really, really helpful if you are a note taker, a digital note taker, and you have presentation notes or notebooks that you want to take notes alongside of. I really like this and this is a very unique feature to Flexel and note taking apps in general. So here is our little kind of tool icon. The design of Flexel 2 is very, very minimal, which I really like. So if I select this, then I can go into the tools of the toolbar. So they have a bunch of pre-selected sizes and colors of pencils. So if I go into this, then I can go in and adjust my pen thickness as well as different colors. And I really, really like this color palette that they've included. So let's go ahead and just choose black for this and I will choose three. And if you want to write in a straight line, you can select this and it will have a ruler by your pencil, which means that whenever you write, it will automatically do straight lines. If you want to turn that off, you just go in deselect straight line, you know that it won't write in straight lines because there's no ruler next to it. So let's say that I am taking notes on the beginning of the universe and as you can see I was playing around with a few pictures here. Let's say I want to write our universe was born 13.7 billion years ago so I can just go in and write alongside of it. So this is a feature that I really, really like. You can also go into full screen mode and it'll pop up as a new tab here. You can just exit out. Let's go back to our space page, pull it up. And then you can go into your notes and see how many pages you have. So I'm gonna close this out and we're gonna mess with this toolbar a little bit more. So then they have these highlighter options and what I really, really like about these highlighters is that you can actually adjust the opacity of your highlighter, which I think is a unique feature that I haven't really seen in other note-taking apps. And I really like this color palette because it's very conducive to using different highlighter colors. So I'm going to select this yellow. We can zoom here. This is a very light color, but the highlight does go behind the text, which is super important whenever you are using a highlighter. So selecting another yellow color. Obviously we can select straight line here too, if we want to use the straight line feature. Deselect, try a different color. So yes, that's another really great feature. Then moving into kind of the images, you can select your images and pull images in from either your photo library or you can take a picture. So that is what I did here with this image. Another feature that I wanted to talk about here is that whenever you do insert an image or text or something, it automatically comes with this little link here. So whenever you click that, it will pop up your own annotations, whether you did a text box or an image. So that could be really helpful in your notes, for instance. If I pull up my quick note, let's move this down a bit and I get my gesture tool. So I'm turning off my pen tool just by selecting that. And if I want to make sure I have this picture here, I can move that into my little quick note here. And then I can put like a little comment with it. So that says Hallie's comment. So I'm gonna go into my pen tool and say Hallie's comment. Then if I go back to, let's say my quick note whenever I am studying and I'm wondering, hmm, I wonder where I got this picture from within my notes, you can just select this and it automatically pulls up the article or PDF file that you got it from, which I think is so, so cool. So that's another feature. Of course, we have our eraser tool here and so then we can go in and just erase. So that's fun. So we're just going in and erasing all that text. So going back out of our note. So then if we go to see what a new note looks like, if we click this, then we can change the cover and paper, very similar to good notes. So I really, really enjoy the covers that they have incorporated in this. So let's just choose a nice cover. And then for paper, they have a bunch of different paper templates. And of course you can change the color. So you can go with this more yellowed paper template 
or you can go with black or white. So they have Cornell, dotted graph, legal, lines, and vertical, all paper templates that are super important to students. So let's go with our legal. They also have plain here. Then we're gonna title our note. And then we have our new notebook here. So then we can go in and take our notes if we need to for class. I will also say that the pen tool in Flexil is really great. I find it very easy to write neatly within the app. And in fact, I really, really do enjoy the different pens. It is a nice writing experience within the Flexil app. So those are my notes and this is kind of what my handwriting looks in Flexil. It doesn't really look any different in any other note taking apps. So the ease with writing in Flexil is magnificent, honestly. Okay, so going back into kind of like a sample notes or notes section, I wanted to show you kind of the different document setups within Flexil. So if we come up to this little icon up here, kind of like an open book icon here in the right hand corner, if we select this, we can select different view settings for our files. So this top section here changes the scrolling direction of your file. So I normally like to do horizontal scrolling, However, Flexil does offer a vertical scroll as well if you prefer that. Similarly, they have a section where you can change the scrolling direction for your little pop-up notes. So if you go here, you can change that to either vertical or horizontal scrolling. Then down here we have page view, which I think is really unique. You can do a single page, two pages, or kind of a quadrant style. So here, you can do two pages side by side, which I really, really enjoy, especially for research papers like this. Since I am in a lab course and have worked through research papers, this would have been really handy to have the pages side by side. And you can scroll down like that. Or you can do kind of like a quadrant style, which may be helpful for certain notes that you're taking. Of course, you can do zoom in. So that's also really unique to Flexel. Then they have different options for reading. And so you can toggle on a status bar or reference links. So reference links are those little links depending on what comes into your annotation notes. So you can turn these on or off. Similarly, you can select the status bar and that will allow you to see the dates and times and battery percentages of your iPad, or you can hide it, which I think is really unique. Then they have this gesture feature where you can toggle on and off capture with annotations and single finger panning. This little icon right here shows you different page navigation so you can scroll through and see all of your pages in one place. You can also see kind of the outline of your notes. Here is a bookmarks section if you were to bookmark any of your pages. And this is that annotation section which I was talking about earlier where you can see text boxes and images that you put within your notes. So lastly, I wanted to show you the text tool within Flexil. So you'll just select the text option here and then select the box. And I really like how the text toolbar is down here at the bottom. I can easily go in and select my pencil if I don't wanna use the scribble feature native to iOS 14. And then I can just type whatever I need. And it's so easy to scroll through and find the font you need. I don't know what it is, but a lot of note-taking apps have really horrible systems when it comes to using fonts. But you can use custom fonts within Flexil and it's just a really nice interface whenever you do want to type on your iPad. So we can go in and we can change kind of the font size here as well. And then we can go in and change the color of our font. And then there it is. How handy. I really, really do love the font feature of Flexil as well. So that's how you use the text boxes within Flexil. So one thing I will say about Flexil, however, if you are a digital planner, that Flexil 2 currently does not support embedded links. So you won't be able to click any of the links within your digital planner, which is unfortunate. So that's why I'm gonna go into Flexil, the original Flexil app. I'm gonna go over here into my 21 digital planner. So as you can see, there are a few differences within the Flexil app as far as the interface. However, the same functions are still very, very similar. It still has kind of the mini study notes section, you can do full screen. However, the links within the original Flexil app works. So 
So this is a really, really great app to try out if you are new to digital planning, but don't want to spend the extra few bucks on a different app before you know that digital planning is right for you. So that is both Flexel 2 and Flexel 1. Don't forget that if you do want to try out all the features within Flexel, they are having a 30 day free trial where you can download the app, try out all the features, and if you love it, you can purchase all the features within Flexel for a flat rate. However, I think both are great free options if you're just trying to dip your toes in the water when it comes to taking your notes digitally or digital planning. All right, so that's all I have for you. Let me know if you enjoyed the video and if you end up trying out Flexel. I'm interested in hearing your opinions on the app as well. Again, please don't forget to like this video and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Hello, Ramona. I can't shake the simplest feeling.